Hey guys, I'm back with part 2 for this tutorial on how to build this large traditional house. Here in this one, I'm going to try to finish the rest of the exterior of the house, which includes the roof for the lower sides, the exterior walls for the second floor, and then the roof for the second floor. I went ahead and gathered up all the blocks we're going to be using, so be sure to grab the pillar quartz blocks, the smooth quartz blocks, the smooth quartz stairs, and the smooth quartz slabs, then some bricks, grey concrete, light grey concrete, white stained glass panes, a lantern, dark oak wood stairs, dark oak wood slabs, dark oak fence, and some spruce wood slabs, and then a dark oak trap door, jungle trap door, iron trap door, and spruce trap door, and then a chain, grey carpet, and then cobblestone stair, slab, and then just a regular cobblestone block, and then the cobblestone wall. And then a furnace, flower pot, fern, jungle leaves, bucket of water, and a sea lantern. I'm going to start with the pillar quartz blocks, and I'm going to start bringing up all the pillars that'll mark out where the exterior walls for the second floor are going to be. So I'm here at the front side, and right next to where the front porch is, I'm just going to go right here on this corner where the brick is. I'm going to bring up a pillar of 8. I'm going to head on over here to this side where this corner is and have another pillar of 8. I'm going to go here at the back side. I'm going to do the same thing for that corner where that pillar already is. Then for right here where that pillar is. Here. And right there. So just an additional 8. So we have a total of 6 pillars marked out like that. So I'm back here at the front. I'm going to switch to the bricks. I'm going to go up against each pillar. Down here at the bottom just on top of where we already have this wall. And we're just going to place 9. So here at the right, we're going to work our way towards the left and just place 9. You could go ahead and add an additional layer on top of it, so it's now 2 more in total. And then we're going to head on over here to this left pillar and just work your way towards the right by another 9. So it's like this. Let's go ahead and switch to the pillar quartz block. We're going to go out from each corner of where we left off this brick. So we're just going to be right here and we're going to bring up another pillar of 8. We'll do the same over here. And then in between those pillars you can switch to the smooth quartz blocks and we'll just add two layers. So this is the part of the house that juts out down the middle, right above where the front porch is. Now you can switch back to the bricks, and we'll just focus on each side. So I'll look over here, we'll go up against this pillar, and just bring it to the same height. And we'll do the same thing over here, so just from the corner of that pillar, right on top of this block, we'll go ahead and bring all that up. And then, you can switch to the grey concrete, we're going to start marking out the windows. And it's going to be the same window design that we did here for the first floor. It's all going to line up as well. So, we have the four right here. We skip over the two, so we're on this third block. We have another four. And then skip over this two and have another four. And then switch to the smooth quartz stairs. We'll have the two upside down on each side. The white stained glass panes for the remaining space. And then we have the extra couple layers of the brick on top of the window. So now you can see this window is exactly the same way as the first floor. So I'm going to head on over here to this side and do the same thing. So it's looking like this. And now for the space here in the middle. I'm actually going to switch back to the pillar quartz blocks and just add an additional two on each side. Like that. And then you can switch to the smooth quartz blocks. I'm going to go up against each pillar. 
And I'm just going to add three layers like that. And then we have all the space right here in the middle, which we're going to fill in with the white stained glass panes. So it's four blocks wide and it'll be three blocks in height. And now you can switch back to the full blocks. We'll add one more on each side, but then we want to go ahead and bring it in on each side. So it's right above the glass. And then for these two spaces right here in the middle, we're going to have two more white stained glass panes. And then for all the rest of the space till the top of the pillars is going to be filled in with these smooth quartz blocks. So this is what the front side is looking like so far. Let's head on to the back. And we're going to be doing a similar thing back here. So on each side where the brick is, we'll go ahead and just add two additional layers. And then right down the middle, we'll add two additional layers of the smooth quartz. And now let's go ahead and just continue with the middle section. So we have a strip going up on each side to the same height as the pillar. And then we'll have one more on each side. So we're left with four spaces in the middle and we're going to have the same window design that we had at the front. So you can switch to the white stained glass panes. It'll be just the four blocks wide and then three blocks, like three layers in height. And then we have the additional smooth quartz block on each side. And then the two white stained glass panes in the middle. And then the two layers of the quartz like that. And now on the right and left side, We'll go ahead and mark out the rest of the windows. It's going to be the same design that we did for the previous floor. So we'll switch to the bricks. We'll go ahead and fill in the two spaces right here up against this pillar. And then two spaces over here as well. And then we'll do the same on this side. And now we're going to mark out the window. So we just have the four layers of the gray concrete on each side. The two upside down smooth quartz stairs. The white stained glass panes. And the two layers of the brick. And now this is what the back side is looking like. Now let's look at the side of the house. We're going to go ahead and fill in each side right here, more towards the back. So you can switch to the brick and I'm going to go ahead up against this pillar and just fill in two spaces going all the way up. And then we'll go ahead and add two extra layers down here until we just meet up with this corner is fine. So just an additional two layers like that. And now we're going to have a window right here. So you can switch to the gray concrete. We'll go ahead and add the four layers. We're just going to skip over two. So we're on this third space. Have another four. The two upside down stairs. The white stained glass panes. And then all the rest of the space throughout here is going to be filled in with the bricks. So we have this side done and now exactly what we just did here we're then going to do over here on this side. So I'll just start out with the two extra layers down here on top of this wall and then the two extra layers going up against this pillar and then we just have the same window design again. So this one actually matches up with the first floor right there. And there we go, this side is now done. And we might as well go ahead and add the little flower beds that we have below each window. So make sure to have the smooth quartz stairs. And I'm just gonna curve together four stairs upside down, just lined up with the window like that. We'll do the same 
right here. And so we have this window right here. This one. And then the final one over here on this side. And then on top of those, I'm going to add a flower pot, which will then be filled in with the fern. So we could just add two right there is fine. Two right here. We could do the same for that one right here and here. So there we go. That's all looking good. And actually for this space right here in the middle, since this window is a bit bigger, I decided to actually have this part a little bit bigger as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just extend it out by one more space on each side. So it's just one block further than the edge of the actual window. So it stops right there. So that's about all I wanted to do to that. And now that's pretty much it for the exterior walls for the second floor of the house. You can see we still have these spaces right here. But first I want to go ahead and mark out the roof for the lower sides. And they will just fill in the remaining space that we see after we add the roof. So I'm just going to work my way back up here to the front. And we'll go ahead and start by doing the roof next. I'm going to start by marking out the triangle points on each side. So I'll look over here above the garage first. We're going to continue with the smooth quartz stairs. I'm just going to go right here on this corner, add a stair like that, and then I'll have one upside down kind of facing in that direction, and then on top of that we'll just have one on its side facing straight up, and then we're just going to go back and forth and have one upside down, and up, upside down, and up, just back and forth, and the middle point for this point is going to be right here down the middle of the garage door. So we're gonna go ahead and bring this up until we're lined up with this glass part of the door. So this is the middle point. We're gonna be just one space next to it right here. So this side is actually brought up where it should be. So now we'll go to this corner and we'll do the same thing we just did over there. We'll bring it up to the same height and we're gonna be left with one space down the middle. So I have the stair like that, then an upside down one on its side, and then up and upside down just back and forth. So now you can see they're both at the same height. For this empty space right down the middle, we're just going to have one upside down like that. And then we're going to top it off with a slab. So this is the triangle point here, right above the garage. I'll look over here, and we're going to do the same design. So, smooth quartz stairs. We'll start at this corner. We're going to bring it up. The middle point is going to be right here. So the right side is going to be brought up right here, so we'll make sure to line it up. And then this left side will be lined up right here. So there we go, right side is brought up, so it's lined up with this part of the window. We'll do the left side now. So it's like this. Now we have the upside down stair right down the middle, and then the slab to top it off. Now let's switch to the light gray concrete. I'm going to go behind each of these shapes and just start filling it all in. So what you could do is just go ahead and follow along all these stairs. So these are the bottom stairs. So you just want to make sure not to add any of the concrete on the outside like that. As you can see how the light gray concrete is on this outer side of the stairs. All we want to do is make sure to fill in all this space right here in the middle. So there we go. It's looking like this. You can see each and every stair still and the slab. So from the outside, it's all just filled in right here in the middle. I'm going to head on over here and do the same thing. So 
So it's like this, go on to the outside, all filled in. And now I'm gonna carve out a hole right here in the middle. So we're gonna leave a space up here at the top. So starting on the second space, we'll work our way down and carve out three. You can switch to the smooth quartz stairs. We'll have a stair facing up and upside down for the bottom and at the top. And then the remaining space in the middle, we're gonna fill in with a white stained glass pane. So we just have a little window right there. Now let's switch to the dark oak wood slabs. So I'll just swap out is that fern. And then we have the dark oak wood stairs. I'll just swap out the white stained glass pane. And we're gonna start filling in the actual roof. So I'll look over here first. We have this part that juts out. So we're gonna switch to the dark oak wood slabs. And we're just gonna follow along the outer edge here and just add a layer of the slabs. And then we're gonna go up just half a space and fill in the remaining space right here. Now you can switch to the dark oak wood stairs and we'll start filling in the actual roof. So I'm gonna just be following along each quartz stair. So we have this first layer here and we're just going to pretty much add the dark oak wood stairs up until that wall. So that's the first layer there. Go up in the next layer, bring this straight across into that pillar. Like that. And then we have the third layer. You can see how we're not going to be able to just bring it straight across into the wall since there's no more of the wall. So we're going to have to actually curve it into the side. So we'll bring this over until we just line up where the previous layers are. And then we're going to have one more space, but it's going to curve into the side like that. We'll go up in the next layer. We're going to do the same thing. So we're going to bring this over until we're just one block further than this previous layer. And then we're going to go ahead and curve this just like that. Go up on the next layer. We'll do the same thing. So we'll bring it over just one extra space like that. And then we have two going in this direction. And then we'll do this final layer right here. So it's going to be three curving in this direction. We won't worry about this top layer quite just yet, because that's actually not going to curve into there. We have to go ahead and do this other side first. So, we'll just go all the way down here at the bottom again, and we'll just follow along the overhang, and just wrap it around into the wall. We'll go up in the next layer, so I'll just start right here. Just follow along the edge of the wood stairs that we just placed. You could bring this straight across back into that quartz stair. Next layer, do the same thing. Like that. So we just bring it until it's lined up where all the other ones are. Go up in the next layer, do it again. Next layer, again. And then we'll go ahead and do it one more time. You can see how we're actually going to meet up at the back side of the stairs right there. So we'll bring this over. So now these are just back to back like that. Now you can see how we just have this rectangular shape right here down the middle. So we'll go up. Uh, this final layer where the stairs are just line up with it follow along the wood stairs and then we're just going to go ahead and wrap this around and back up to the front to connect back into that other stair and now you can see the remaining space right here we're just going to fill in with these slabs so there we go that is all there is to the roof here for the lower side. So this is like the front left side of the house. Now you can see we have to finish filling in the rest of the wall right here. So you can switch back to the brick. I'm just going to go from the inside. I'm just going to follow along all of the stairs. So I'll start down here at the bottom. Just place a block where you see each stair. Like that. And then you could just fill in all of the remaining space above those blocks. So 
So I just want to make sure to leave this space open right here. So that it then makes it easier when we get to the interior since we are going to be using this space. We won't have to worry about deleting the extra brick that we would have placed here if we didn't end up doing the roof first. So I just like to do the roof and then just add all the actual blocks that we're going to be having so that we just don't fill all this space in since it's not really necessary to fill in. So now let's head on over here to this side and we'll do this roof next. So you could just switch back to the dark oak wood stairs and we'll just continue with the same thing we were doing. So I'll start down here at the bottom layer, add this just going straight across into that wall, go up in the next layer, do the same thing. And then we have the third layer, which this is now going to curve into the side of the pillar like that. Next layer will be the same thing. So we're going to bring it over just one block further than that previous layer. We have that curving into it. Next layer. So we have two going in that direction. And then we have this layer, which is going to be the final layer we do on this side for now. So it just has one, two, and three going in that direction. So I'll go on this side and we'll just follow along all of this. So I'll start down here at the bottom, just right on top of this overhang. Go ahead and just follow right along this. And it's right here. We'll just bring it straight across to the other side. And on top of this little part, we'll go ahead and add some dark oak wood slabs. And that's about it for this part. Now let's go up on the next layer. You can see we could just connect into the wall right here. And you could just follow along the edge of that previous layer. So it's like this. Go up again, do the same thing. So you can just stop it right there. We'll go all the way back up here. We have to do this a few more times. So we have one more, which will then meet up to the back side of the stairs on the other side. So just bring this straight across until it lines up with that part. So now you can see we have all this space remaining here in the middle, so I'll go back at the front. We just have this final layer of the stairs, so go ahead and bring this over. Follow along that previous layer. Go ahead and wrap it around here, and straight across back up to the front like that. And now we just have the remaining space here which will be filled in with the slabs again. And there we go. Now we have the roof filled in here for the right side of the house. So all of that looks good. We have this little part here. This cool little shape to the roof so it's not all just straight across. Just added a little bit extra to it. So, we'll go back up to the front. Now we have to go ahead and add the slabs here for the front porch. So, make sure you have the dark oak wood slabs. We'll go here on this first layer, just right on top of the overhang at the edge. We'll just bring this strip straight across from one side to the other. And now right behind this on that same layer, we'll go ahead and have another strip. And now we're going to go up half a space. So what we'll do is actually delete this stair and this stair. We'll do the same on this side. And we're going to go ahead and just fill in these two spaces. You can see it's just half a block, like half a space higher. Go ahead and bring this straight across to the other side. So it's like that. And now we could go ahead and just delete these stairs. They are going to be completely covered up. 
But if you want to save resources, if you're maybe building this in survival, go ahead and delete those stairs. We're going to go up another half a space. We're going to be right up against the bottom part of these stairs. And just add the additional two layers to fill in the rest of the roof here. And then right here down the middle where this part juts out, we're just going to have one strip going straight across. And then it goes back into the two. So there we go. Now we have the roof here for the front porch. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Let's go ahead and finish filling in the rest of the wall right here where this roof is. So you can switch back to the brick. We'll just follow along each of the stairs. And fill in all of the space. Oh, hold up. <laughs> there we go. Fill in all of the space above those bricks. So there we go. We just left all of this empty. And now from the outside, it just looks like a solid wall. So now, let's go ahead and jump on into the roof for the second floor, for this upper middle part. So I'm just going to start here at the front. Make sure you have the smooth quartz stairs. And I'm going to go at the top layer of these walls. So here, I'm just going to go right up against this pillar for this part that juts out. We'll just bring this straight across and team meet up at the edge right here. We'll do the same on this side. So just a strip of upside down smooth quartz stairs just straight across right there. And now in each corner, we're going to have the slab. And then you could just switch back to the smooth quartz stairs. And we're just going to push this all the way towards the back side. Just right along the side here. And team meet up at the edge. We'll fill that in with a slab. We'll do the same on this side. So we just have the upside down smooth quartz stairs going straight across. And then the slab there. Now you can switch back to the stairs. We'll go ahead and bring this straight over. And the final one we want to make sure to curve into that pillar right there. We'll do the same on this side. So bring this over and then curve it into the pillar like that. Now back to the stairs, go ahead and have a slab lined up where that stair is and then fill in the remaining space right here down the middle with the stairs. So there we go, that's pretty much it for the main overhang here for the second floor roof. You can see we still have to do this part right here that's a little bit higher than the main level. So we'll go ahead and do that now. So here at the front, just start here at the edge. Go straight across to the other edge like that. In each corner we have the slab. And then we'll have just a stair right behind that on each side. Just like that. And now let's start marking out all the triangle points. So we have some pretty big ones on each side. And then we have one right here at the front and at the back. So let's go ahead and do the one here at the front first. So we're just going to be, it's pretty much going to be like the same design that we did here for these triangle points. So we'll just start at each corner. We have the stair like that, upside down, kind of on its side right there, and then just up and upside down. And we're not really going to have a middle point for this roof or for like this point. So you can see this side is going to be lined up with this right side of the window. And then the left side is going to be lined up with the left here. And they're just going to meet up right down the middle. We're not going to be left with the single space like we did for the lower roof. So you can see now, these are just side by side right there at the top. Let's go to the back. And we're going to have the same design back here. The shape is just a little bit bigger. So there we go, now we have this point here at the back side. Now we could do the sides. And these ones are going to be the same design that we did here for the shapes at the front. We're going to be left with the single space right down the middle. So I'll just start here at the corner like we've done everywhere else. Just the same design. And I'm just going to go ahead and bring this up until I feel like it's about where it should be. 
And if that, I'll go to the back corner and also bring that up. And then we'll be able to see if everything's at the same height and we can make adjustments if needed. So I'll go ahead and maybe just leave this one right around there. I'll go to this back side and bring this one up and we'll see if we need to make adjustments. Okay, you can see how I didn't quite bring that front side up enough. So go ahead and add an extra layer right there. And then one more here on the back. And now you can see they're right where they should be. We have the single space right down the middle, which will be filled in with the upside down stair and then topped off at the slab. So we have this side all done. Exactly what we just did here, we'll then do over here on this side. And there we go. I now brought up that side, matched up to that other side. So now let's go ahead and switch to the light gray concrete. We'll go ahead and fill in the sides. Just the same way that we did it for the fronts right here. So just follow along. You could just follow along all of the stairs, like work your way up. But I'm just going to go straight across from one side to the other. I feel like it's a bit quicker. And I'll just stop where each of the upside down stairs are. So there we go. Just filled all that in. So now from the outside. It's looking like this. I am going to add a little feature here. So I'm going to leave the space here at the top. Carve out three below that. Have the stair facing up and upside down. And then have the white stained glass pane. For the window right there. And now what we just did here. We'll then do to this side. And then once again here on the outside, go ahead and carve out these three spaces, have the window like that. And now for the front and back side, we have to fill in these two spaces. So I'm actually just going to be using the smooth quartz blocks and we'll just go ahead and fill in all of this right here. So that is the front side like that. We'll go to the back, do the same thing. So here is the back side. And now you can see we just have to use the dark oak wood stairs and some of the slabs as well to fill in the actual roof. So I'll start here at the front right on top of the overhang. We'll go ahead and just bring a strip straight across like that. Go over here, do the same thing. We'll go up on the second layer. We'll bring this over until we just meet up until we're like right behind this stair right there. So bring it over and stop it right there like that. We'll go over to the side and do the same thing. There we go. And now on the third layer, we'll bring this over and we're actually going to curve it into that stair. So just bring this over until it's lined up with it. Like that. And now we'll go ahead and just curve it right into that. So we just have the additional two. We'll go over to this side. We'll do the same thing. So I'll just start here. We'll bring it out. Until we're just one block further than that previous layer, we'll go ahead and just bring this straight across into that stair. Next layer, do the same thing until it's all the way up to the top, until it's all filled in. So I'll just go ahead and do this entire side first. So there we go. This entire side's filled in. And we'll do the same thing over here. So there we go. All of that is filled in. And now you can see the remaining space is just going to be brought straight across from one side to the other. All the way up to the top. And then we have the slab right there which will also be straight across.
So there we go. The entire front side is all filled in. Looks good. I do want to make sure to fill in this little empty space right here. So I'm actually going to go on the inside. So I'll just go here from the back. I'm going to switch to the full block of the smooth quartz. You can see right here, we'll add a block on each side. And now we don't have that random hole right there. It's all filled in. So all of that is now looking good. We'll go to the back and fill in all of this here. So it's going to be similar to the front. It's just this part here in the middle is in a little bit higher. It's all at the same layer. So you can switch back to the dark oak wood stairs. We'll just bring this straight over. It curves right into there. So we'll go ahead and continue doing that all the way up to the middle. We'll do the same on that side. And then it's just straight across from one side to the other for the remaining space. All right, so now this entire backside is filled in, similar to the front. So this is what the entire house is looking like so far. We just have to add all the windows in the roof and some decorations on the front porch and the back deck. And then the main exterior of the house will be done. So I'm going to look over here at the roof above the garage. And we're going to have two one block wide windows over here. Let's make sure to grab the white stained glass panes. I'll just swap out the bricks. We're going to be using all these quartz blocks. Then those white stained glass panes. And then the dark oak wood stairs. And the dark oak wood slabs. And that is everything for these windows. So... Let's switch to the smooth quartz blocks. And I'm going to have the two layers down here at the bottom. And then here on this third layer is where we're going to be starting. We're going to have these two spaces of the dark oak wood stairs away from the edge of the quartz. So we're going to be right here on this space. We'll carve out three going there towards the left. So two down here at the bottom, two of the dark oak at the right. Now we'll skip over five. So we're going to be on this six space and we'll carve out another three there. You can see we are left with four stairs right here until the edge of the wall. So window there and window there. Make sure you have the full blocks of the smooth quartz. We'll go right behind these stairs and just fill all this in. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this one. And then I'll just fast forward through this one. So it's just going to be the same thing. So I'll show you how to do it once here. And then you'll be able to just maybe rewatch this one if you still need to know how to do that. So right on top of this quartz, you can switch to the pillar quartz blocks. So on each side, we'll just bring it up by three in height. And then at the top, we'll have an upside down smooth quartz stair. And then in front of each of these pillar quartz blocks at the top, we're going to have another upside down stair. And then on each side, we'll have a stair like that. Stair on top. So stair on the side, stair on the top. Upside down one right down the middle. Slab on the top. And then we have two slabs on each side underneath. And then let's go ahead and start carving out the remaining space here for the roof. So just go right behind here. We'll carve out these three stairs. Go up in the next layer, carve out another three. Next layer, carve out another three. And now, let's switch to the dark oak wood stairs. And we're just going to follow along the court stairs. So right here, we just have the two curves into there. Go on this side, do the same thing. We have the next layer, so we'll go ahead and bring this back. You can see how we just added an additional four curves back into that part of the roof. Do the same here. And now you can switch to the dark oak wood slabs and fill in the remaining space right here down the middle. And now let's go on the inside. You can see we have this space right here and this one. We're going to fill it in with a full block of the smooth quartz. Go back on the outside and fill in the remaining space here with the actual window with the white stained glass panes. And then one final thing, right here behind these quartz slabs, you can switch to the dark oak wood slab and just place it right behind it. And now, that is it for this window design here. 
We're going to do it one more time right here. And there we go. We have that window done. And now, we have four more to do. They're going to be two block wide windows instead of one block wide like those. So we're going to have one on each side here at the front, and then in the same spots at the back. So let's go ahead and just carve out the space where each window is going to be. So here at this front right side, we're going to have two layers of the stairs here at the bottom. So we're going to be on this third layer. And then we're going to have three of the dark oak wood stairs. So on this fourth space, go ahead and carve out four like that. We'll do the same on this side. So leave the three spaces. So we start on this fourth space and we're going to carve out four. And then we'll do the same here at the back. So the two layers, we have the three, carve out four. There we go. Over here, another four like that. So let's just go back up to the front. I'll start up here. I'll show you how to do this one. And then I'll just fast forward through the other three. So. It's going to be pretty much the same thing we already did. It's just a two block wide window instead of one. So make sure you have the full blocks of the smooth quartz. We'll just go down here at the bottom. Fill in the four spaces right there. Switch to the pillar quartz block. Bring it up by three on each side. And then we'll have two upside down stairs in the middle at the top. Go ahead and have another upside down stair in front. Sideways stair at the side. And then on top. So the side and the top, then upside down on each side, and then just facing up right there. Go here at the back. We have these two spaces which we're going to fill in with these smooth quartz blocks. And then switch back to the slabs. We'll have two upside down here on each side. And then we'll go ahead and start deleting all these wood stairs. So we have the four right here. Go up in the next layer, delete another four. And then the third layer will just delete the two right there. Now you can switch to the dark oak wood stairs. Well actually let's go ahead and add the slab. Like the dark oak wood slab right behind these quartz slabs on each side. And then on top of that we'll start adding the stairs. So we have the first layer here. Second layer. And third layer. So first layer here second layer and then the third layer so first let's go ahead and just delete that stair you can see how that curved right into that part of the roof and then we can go ahead and start placing this and that also curves together like that and now let's go on the inside add the full block right there and there and then fill the rest of this in with the white stained glass panes so there we go that is the design for this one. So I'm going to do it three more times. Just once over here at the front and then the two more times at the back. So there we go. I have all those windows marked out. So now the final thing I'm going to do here in this video. It's just a few little extra decorations I have for the front porch and the back deck and then the main exterior of the house will be done. So for the front porch we're going to be using the dark oak fences, the chains, the jungle leaves, the jungle trap doors, the dark oak trap doors, the gray carpet, and some sea lanterns. So let's start with the dark oak fence. We're going to go right here down the middle and just hang down a dark oak fence like that underneath we'll have a chain and then underneath that we'll have a jungle leaf and that will cover up each side of the jungle leaves with a jungle trap door and that will go underneath and have another jungle trap door there we'll go over here to the side we'll do the same thing Just like that. Let's go ahead and use the carpet. It's just going to have one quick use. 
We're just gonna place two right here in front of the door so it looks like a mat that you could wipe your feet on before you walk inside. And then let's switch to the sea lanterns and I'm just gonna have a few of these up here in the ceiling for the main light source for this porch. So we could go ahead and have maybe one right there, one over here, do the same on uh, this side. So I'm just lined up where that pillar is and where that pillar is. We could then cover these up with the dark oak trap door. And we could have one more right here down the middle. Actually, I thought it was a middle point, but let's go ahead and just maybe have one uh, like three spaces away from that. Is that too much? I feel like that's too much. What we could do is actually, I feel like it'll be enough just to have this one shifted over so it's lined up where that pillar is. So we have a total of four. I think that should be more than enough light. So there we go. It's looking like that. Yeah, that should be good. So that's about it. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. So we have a swing right here. So switch to the chain. And I'm going to line up with this part of the window. I'll look straight up. And I'll hang a chain down from the ceiling. Until we just have one more space remaining. Right here, away from the floor. So we'll do the same on this side. So lined up with that. Bring this straight down. And then you can switch to the dark oak trap door. I'm going to go ahead and crouch. And place one right there so it's underneath that chain. And then I'll continue crouching and just bring this straight across. To that side. So. There we go. That is a nice little swing here in front of that window. And now that is everything that I'm going to do here for the front porch. So I head on to the back side. So we have the deck back here. And everything that is currently in my inventory we are not going to need anymore. So we'll clear that. Let's go ahead and get rid of this brick. The fern. The flower pot. And then yeah everything else we're going to be using. So let's go ahead and just grab all these cobblestone blocks. The furnace and the iron trap door. I'm going to have a grill right here in front of this window. So we could go ahead and just have two blocks of cobblestone like that. You could switch to the cobblestone stairs. Have two upside down on each side. On top of these full blocks, we'll have some more slabs. And then you could have the two furnaces. And then on top of that, we'll have iron trap doors. And then we'll have a cobblestone wall just going up here at the left side. So that's it for the grill. And now that I just remembered, so I have a hot tub over here, but I guess I forgot to add a table here for the back deck near the grill. So maybe you do a little cookout. You could just like sit out here. So we could go ahead and add a table back here. So I'll be sure to do that, which is something I forgot to do at the original build. But let's go ahead and just clear all that. And we'll grab all the rest of these blocks for the hot tub. So, you can switch to the gray concrete, and we'll place, it's going to be like a 4x4 four four square, and we could place it, how about we just line up with the porch, like the railing part. So it'll be one space away from it, and we'll place four like that, so we're just right here down the middle. And then we'll bring it out by an extra three on each side, and then fill in the remaining two spaces there, and then we could replace these blocks with some light gray concrete fill this in with a bucket of water could add a little lantern there for the light source here at night and then we'll have two spruce wood slabs here and here for the step up and then we'll cover up every side of the remaining gray concrete with a spruce trap door so there we go that's about it for the hot tub and now we'll just clear all of that and now let's do that table so i'll grab the smooth quartz stairs and then let's go ahead and also grab the smooth quartz slabs and then an iron door and some birch signs some here i use the glow item frame and we'll leave it at that for now so with the smooth quartz stairs we'll just have the table like right around here so we'll go ahead and just curve together 
uh, four upside down smooth quartz stairs. So we'll just place a temporary one right there and then place an upside down one. We could delete that. And then we'll go ahead and just curve these all together. So there we go. Just looking like that. And now you can switch to the smooth quartz slabs. And we'll just have each one like that, like in each corner. Behind each slab, we'll have an iron door. And then we'll go ahead and add a birch sign on each side of the slab so it looks like an armrest. And then in front of each chair, we could go ahead and add, you know what, we'll do just two item frames. And then I'll clear that. We could have a lantern right there. And then maybe a flower pot for this other spot. So we'll grab that with maybe like a blue orchid will be good. I like that one. And then let's grab a couple food items for within those item frames. So that'll be good. Fill that in. And now we have a table right there next to the grill. And that is about all I'm going to do here for the back deck. Okay guys, real quick, I actually just realized the reason I didn't have a table right here is because this deck actually isn't supposed to be this big. I was wondering why there was so much empty space. It just looked like there was way more than usual. And that's because, yeah, this deck is like way bigger than the original, as you can see. I just extended this out by an extra section, which then resulted in this being all the way out here. And I do like this design a lot better. I feel like that porch or like that uh, deck over there is just way too big for what it is. And I feel like this is a lot nicer. And we'll then have more space to add the pool and this patio space. So yeah, I didn't even realize that this one was just way bigger. So yeah, you can see I extended this out right here. It's actually supposed to go straight across right there. And then this goes out till right here. So I'm going to go ahead and make the adjustments and just fix this. Unless if you want to, you could just keep it like this if you prefer the bigger look. You just won't really be able to have the same thing back here with the pool and the patio space. But yeah, like I said, you could go ahead and keep it if you want. You could maybe have the pool over here and the patio space over here. That could work. But I'm going to go ahead and just have the original design that I did. So I'm going to just delete this table. So yeah, that is my bad. I never even realized that I made this deck just way too big. So we'll go ahead and grab these spruce wood planks, the spruce wood slabs, and then the spruce wood stairs. And then uh, let's go ahead and grab these dark oak wood stairs. And we probably won't need the dark oak wood planks as long as we don't delete anything we're not supposed to. Let's go ahead and we're going to bring this in until right here. So we'll delete all this. Just till right there. And then we'll go ahead and delete this all the way up until we're lined up here. So I'll start on this side. Just delete this strip until we're lined up right there. And then we'll go ahead and uh, just work our way in and delete all the rest of this. Just straight across like that. And now you can see this section all right here. We're going to go ahead and remove. So there we go. Real quick, pretty much already got it fixed. And then I am going to shift over this uh, hot tub as well. So let's go ahead and grab this gray concrete, the light gray concrete. And then we need these spruce trap doors, these like that uh, lantern. And then we need a bucket of water. So we'll go ahead and just fill this in. And we'll just, uh, we'll shift it over. It'll probably be like more over here. Let's just go ahead and delete it for now. And then after we make the deck the way that it's actually supposed to be, we'll then add the hot tub back. Uh, let's go ahead and just start filling all this in and then we'll bring it over to where it's supposed to be. 
So, switch back to the spruce wood planks. We'll skip over these four spaces. So we'll have a pillar right here. So the two planks like that with the slab. Skip over another four. Have another two with the slab. We'll skip over one. Have two here, slab. Skip over two. Have the two with the slab. And skip over one and have another pillar here. And now we'll go ahead and skip over four going out in that direction. So we're going to be just right here on top of the concrete here. So just right there. So yeah, I didn't even realize I went further than the edge of the plot size here for the main, for like the actual house itself. I should have known right then and there that this was wrong, but I just like completely didn't even realize. Now let's go ahead and just bring this straight across over to here and just delete all of this extra stuff. There we go. Now the deck is pretty much how it should be. Let's go ahead and uh, I'll just uh, swap out. Here, let's go ahead and do the rest of the deck first and then we'll fill that in. So we have all the upside down stairs here for the spaces of four. And then for the single spaces, space of four here. And then we'll go ahead and replace this block with a stair. Do the same right here. And then replace this block with a pillar. Same on this side. And then we have these five spaces here, which will be the dark oak wood stairs. And now where the single spaces are, we'll have the slab like that for part of the railing. And then we'll have the upside down, or let's go ahead and do the two dark oak stairs right there for the step up. And then for these spaces of four, we have the upside down stair on each side with the slabs in the middle. So there we go, that is all looking good. Now let's just swap out the dark oak wood stairs and we'll fill in this with the dark oak wood planks. Yeah, that's all looking good, everything's the way it should be now. And then we'll have the hot tub like right around here. So go ahead and switch to the gray concrete and we'll place four like that. So we actually, we have three spaces on each side and then the space at the back. Bring it out by three, fill in the two there, replace this with the light gray concrete, slab on each side, the uh, lantern, bucket of water, and then all the spruce trap doors again. So there we go. Now, everything is exactly the way it should be. Quick little fix there. No big deal. If you wanted to keep it, you could. But like I said, I'm just going to have it as the original version. But now I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that here for part two. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that here for part two for this tutorial on how to build this large traditional house. If it helped you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in part three.